Hello friends, I am Dr. Haribala Mahapatra from Bhubaneswar. So today we will be learning about ABC of diabetes management. The first and foremost things that we need to be uh, knowing about diabetes management. So diabetes increases the risk of many health problems. It can harm our eyes, kidneys, feet, gums, skin, heart and any other part of the body can be affected. And the damage can start even before we notice the symptoms of diabetes. And medical tests often catch these problems very early and so that you can actively uh, counter the uh, complications of diabetes. So the first A1C, that's the, that's the A stands for A1C or HP1C test. This test shows the average blood glucose levels over the past 2 to 3 months. And uh, one should be uh, probably doing this test at least every uh, 2 times every year. And if the control is not good, if the HP1C is high, then we can go for 3 to 4 times also for the, this testing. And it helps our, uh, you as well as doctor to manage the conditions and figure out the treatment plan properly. And uh, patients usually get the results as a percentage value. And the goal is to keep the percentage as low as possible without causing any, any degree of hypoglycemia. And uh, when the HP1C is high, this means the blood glucose over the last 3 months is high. And people with diabetes who usually target for an HP1C below 7% without causing much of hypoglycemia. Now coming to the B of uh, ABC of diabetes management. B stands for blood pressure check. And with doctors should uh, check your blood pressure at every clinic visit. The first number that is when it is 120 by 80. The first number that is 120 it stands for the systolic blood pressure. And it is a major when your heart starts beating. The second number that is diastolic that is maybe uh, 120 by 80, 80 is the second number as I said, it is called the diastolic blood pressure and uh, it is the pressure between the two heart beats and a healthy blood pressure is lower than 120 by 80. High blood pressure above 140 by 90 or higher uh, is, is, uh, is a uh, condition where the patients may be requiring medication depending on the treating doctor's advice. And lowering the blood pressure makes you feel uh, less like to have uh, any degree of heart problems or stroke and the other complications of blood pressure can be minimized if you are, if you are keeping the blood pressure on the lower side. Now coming to the C of uh, ABC of diabetes care. So C stands for cholesterol here and diabetes is very strongly linked with high cholesterol levels particularly the LDL cholesterol is high in patients with type 2 diabetes. It's a kind of bad cholesterol and it can cause uh, at the same time patients with diabetes can have a higher amount of triglyceride. It's a type of again uh, a bad cholesterol in your fat, in, in your body and uh, both LDL and uh, triglyceride they're linked with uh, uh, a, a narrowing of the blood vessels and cause these high cholesterol levels can dramatically decrease the chance of uh, a, a healthy uh, life and uh, the uh, on the other hand there is a good cholesterol called HDL cholesterol it should be kept above 40 milligram per deciliter and when you get our cholesterol checked at least once a year uh, unless otherwise specified and uh, the total cholesterol should be under 200 milligram per deciliter and ideally the LDL cholesterol the bad cholesterol should be below 100 mg per deciliter and the HDL cholesterol which is the good cholesterol should be above 40 mg per deciliter and the triglyceride level again a bad cholesterol should be below 100 mg uh, 150 mg per deciliter and uh, patients with uh, high cholesterol levels may be uh, may, may require medication for that apart from lifestyle modification that is regular exercises and uh, and diet control if the control of cholesterol is not optimum, in that case, the doctor can suggest medicines for that also. So thank you very much for patience hearing.